Prepare for landing. Dropping anchor. Hey, fellow story explorers. We just landed here in Kyle, Texas, and we're gonna visit a young author by the name of Samantha Jordan. She wrote a book called Owl Eyes, and it was chosen to be professionally illustrated. There she is now. Hey, Samantha, come on in. Hey. Welcome to the Very Airy Library. What do you think? Wow. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. Come on, let's have a seat right here and tell everybody a little bit about you. My name is Samantha Jordan. I'm 12 years old and I live in Kyle, Texas. Awesome. So uh, let me ask you a question. You like to read, right? Yes, I do. So what's your favorite book? My favorite book, it's actually a series. I'm really into the Divergent series. Awesome. Who's your favorite character? My favorite character is probably Triss. Mm. So you wrote your own book titled Owl Eyes. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Sure. It's about a girl whose name is Mia, okay. and Mia was born with these deep and mysterious eyes that are just like an owl's. Wow. These eyes of hers give her the ability to talk to the animals that live in the forest around her. Mia doesn't want to tell her best friend about her power or ability because she's scared that it's going to ruin the friendship and things will be different between them. But Mia eventually tells her best friend about her ability and they stay best friends. And the moral of the story is to just be yourself no matter what. Wow, that sounds like a bestseller. <laughs> love it, love it. So where did you find your inspiration for writing this book and coming up with the title? During the writing process, I had a picture of an owl posted in my room mm -hmm. and I was having trouble coming up with something to write about. And I was probably staring at that picture for 10 to 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. And that's whenever things started coming to my mind and then it all came together. Wow, we can find inspiration for stories all around us. So what was your favorite part about the writing process? My favorite part was seeing the entire book come together page after page and drawing all the illustrations. Yeah, I think a lot of times what um, it's hard for some kids is that they don't understand that it's a process, right? It takes that first page and then that second page and once you get to the end and put it together, it's great to see the completed process. So what was the hardest part about writing a book? The hardest part was probably finding something to write about. That's where that poster came in handy, finding that inspiration for stories all around us. So Samantha, last question. What do you want other people to take from this story when they read it? When other people read my story, I want them to learn that they should be themselves no matter what, because the only person people want to see is them and no one else. Love that answer. And I guess that's why you wore that BU shirt today, huh? Yes. <laughs> Are you ready to put your book into the Eternal Library? Yes, I am. Let's do it. Ooh, favorite part. Commencing literary ingestion process. Oh my God, we're gonna eat the words. <laughs> this doesn't get old, Samantha. So cool. Process complete. All right, that's it for today, fellow story explorers. Remember to always be kind and never judge a book or a person by their cover. See you soon, friends. Do you have your own story to tell? Be sure to sign up for the Share Your Story program. You can find the link in the description below. You might even have the chance to visit the very airy life. Oh, come by the magical, incredible, fantastic.